Hello, this is Thorso Zero, and welcome back to another Destroy All Humans video. Today we're going to be playing the remake of Destroy All Humans, uh, which has just came out like about an hour ago, I think. What time is it right now? An hour ago, because it came out at three. Anyway, distract distractions. So I did look at this game. I've, as you can see, my the save games from before have all been saved here. But I'm gonna start anew because there could be some new stuff in here. So we're just gonna go into this one here. So gotta remember it's the fourth one. And here we go. Humans of planet Earth, be advised while the experience has been upgraded, the content and historical record of the original invasion of the Furons remain a near identical clone. The story, words, and images contained within may be shocking to the naked eye. Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there? Hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space. What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from, from beyond, beyond the, the stars? stars. Destroy all humans, one giant step on mankind. Five. All systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby, show us what you got. Three. What the, what the hell? hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. one. No, wait. Stop the countdown. Too late. There we go. <laughs> Here they come. Look how big the saucer is compared to like their truck. Uh oh. Oh man. Dead. <laughs> Incompetent fool. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little... what's the word? constipated <sighs> let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor you lost me Ooh. shall I tell you a secret few of our people know this but the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone that's bad right only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him, Crypto-136, to a hostile planet and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The, the second, second one. <sighs> Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare, Prepare the, the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. 
the planet Earth. Love this bit. There it is, planet Earth. Pretty great, isn't it? So far, I mean, that was the cutscene, like, in its full, you know? That was, that was pretty good. We got Pox's lab here. Welcome to my little laboratory. You may not have known this, but I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. In my spare time, I've been developing some truly impressive weapon and ability upgrades. I'd be happy to share them with you. If you've got something for me in trade, say some of that delicious, delicious. DNA you've collected. Hmm? All right, so what do we got here? So we got Crypto 137. Uh, we got... We got the Black Forest game skin, which is really cool because if you have a look, there's like the purple, and then you got like the greens, like they're like this is kind of like the theme that they have in every game they've said or something like that. And then you got <laughs> this one, Dollar Smart, which is um, oh look at the the jetpack as well. It's pretty cool. You got like kind of like the Pennywise kind of thing, Killing Joke, kind of like one of the older ones. Uh, you got like Mutant, Pale Rider, and then we got the King, <laughs> Elvis Crypto. He's got like a little jukeboxes as thingy. Oh, and we got Pulp Crypto, which is um, interesting. <laughs> uh, but I think I think we'll play as normal Crypto for now, just Crypto One Three Seven, because uh, we don't want to get too advanced into it. And let's just. Let's just start the mission, shall we? It's gonna be interesting to see if anything's changed from like the previous, like um, previous versions. I'm sure a lot has, uh, and I'm very interested to see what has changed. So let's check it out. Yeah. Plan 42 from outer space. So I'm curious, is that lightning his saucer breaking into the atmosphere? It's pretty cool if it is. Now I don't know how smooth the game's gonna be either, like how- I don't know how smooth this is gonna look, because I think this is more than 60 frames. And I don't think uh, OBS can record higher than 60. So I might have to limit it. We'll see how this goes. Box to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. <laughs> but they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! Oh, that's brilliant. The dialogue, just absolutely love it every single time. Crypto! Do verify your suit is working under Earth's atmospheric conditions. Get a move on! Get a move on! It looks absolutely brilliant. Alright, so I'm going to continue forth on my mission. And there shouldn't be too many, if any, lag spikes. 
We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains. <laughs> Yes, profound. Scan another one. Again with the moo? I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. They might be, you know. They eat with their mouths. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. Oh god, and now PK. Neurons have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis crypto. Target an object or like creature and lift it into the sky. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Slam them into the ground. So we can drown this one. If you remember, we can uh, do optional objectives to get more DNA. And that's what exactly I'm going to do. And then, bam. <laughs> mm, Martha, you didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner. Wait a minute, that ain't steak, that's holy mother of- Martha, give me the shotgun! This looks like a job for the Zapomatic. Fry that farmer! Here we go. Oh man, <laughs> what happened to the hay bales? Extract and collect the brainstem from what's left of the agricultural engineer. Consume the brainstem and collect the Furon DNA. <laughs> Harold, come on back! You've got to see this! Day. They got a talking horse on the TV! I ain't never seen nothing like... <laughs> ah! Little green spaceman! Ah! I am not green. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the shields thing. As long as the shields have energy, they protect you from harm. A gauge showing current charge appears when the shield isn't fully charged. When you get hit or touch water, shield energy depletes. Some of the impacts deal more damage than others. If not damaged further, the shield slowly recharges after a few seconds. The shield bar turns red when it's out of energy, and any hit could be lethal. Dodge projectiles or retreat from battle until shields uh, begin recharging. Collecting brain stems reduces shield recharge delay. The saucer also has a shield. To recharge, to recharge that, use its uh, drain ability on humans or vehicles instead. The saucer's shield doesn't recharge. Be that. merciless! Let none survive. Here we go. Let's just get some DNA, shall we? Because that's that's kind of important. Uh, getting first into it. Excellent work, crypto. Excellent work, crypto. So it just says kill the farm ends. My head! And let's zap this guy. And then get his brains. It all still seems to be 25, which is fair. But these are all farmers, so. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. Evening, Ms. Turnip Seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. Little green spaceman! What is that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big arm! Crypto! That human law enforcement officer is attempting an 
unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space-time continuum. They can't. That's not allowed. Oh, the Furonity. Vaporize them, Crypto! We know what we're gonna do now. Kill the farmer's wife using a chicken. Alright, enables flight. So we got our little jetpack here. We got a little and glide around. Yeah. Did I kill her? I didn't. Oh. Nobody move. Is this a chicken? This is a chicken. Yeah. <laughs> That's brilliant, that. Alright, let's get this guy. My radar shows more humans approaching. Hurry to the saucer! Where's this other dude? Oh, here he is. Hi. Get in your flying saucer and annihilate everything oh, in your path. Cool saucer. Which should be board saucer. Take a spin in your saucer. Get a feel for the controls and then go ahead and start shooting. Start shooting. Destroy all buildings. Leave no trace. Bomb oh, this is the best part. This is really... And there's also, uh, what was the button? Control? Yeah, look at this. I can shoot directly down. And I can control the saucer moving my mouse up and down like this. Which is awesome. And then here comes these guys. What are they like, eh? But I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Oh, great. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them. Now! Open fire! Alright, here we go. I hereby give you official permission to destroy. Yes. Oh, wait. I didn't know I could do that. Look at that. Are you kidding? That wasn't a thing. Look out. There are more to the north in the bushes. Tell me that wasn't a thing. What? Replenish your saucer shields by dropping ah. any human being. I can also steal their brains from here. Wow. I... That wasn't in the demo, right? Surely not. <laughs> Have I been mistaken? Holy... The humans are making a final push. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. I just pressed E because I, I forgot that Drain was actually R. But yeah, well, I can just grab their, can grab their brains from here. That's crazy. I can't stop saying that. It's, it is. I, that's groundbreaking right there. Black Forest. Excellent work, Crypto. You've done a good job. Oh, that's cool. Like in the slow mode. their car. Is it a different colour? Feels like it's got to be more of a greenish tone. Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What'd you, what see? Did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the US Army. Right, good. Me too. Green? Not grey? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? what? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to Silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. Uh oh. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Hey. 
Mission successful. Look at all the stuff we unlocked. Oh, and we got a thousand DNA. Cattle mutilation pandemic. Farmer disappears amidst cow abuse allegations. Nuclear bomb fallout shelter. Who is next, Miss Rockwell? Find out on page three. All right. Back to the mothership, and this is where the demo would end. Oh, wait a second. This is new. Now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire. And we realized oh. our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet let off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. That's pretty cool. See... Is that it? Okay. A saucer upgrade, perhaps? No? How about your gun? So your in the original... Mm? In the original, it would be because you come here, then he tells you about it, but it's just basically he's just sitting there telling you. Whereas in this, there's an actual, like, cutscene, a full-on cutscene for it. So we got like all these different things here. We got brain extraction. We got psychokinesis. We got cortex scan. Increases the duration of holobob. Holobob, holobob. Bunch of that stuff. And then back here we got the saucer upgrades. Uh, which we've got all this stuff, which is the raw pulsatron and all that. Uh, and then we got in the archives. So we got the holopox deck. We can replay the mission. Challenge unlocked. So we got abduction. Alright. I think we're ready to start a new mission. I think we're ready to do this mission. Oh, wait. It tells you. It tells you what, like, things you'll be using. It also tells you the difficulty of the fire. So this is, like, uh, one difficulty. This is, like, half difficulty. It's, like, tutorial. So this is the full-on thing. So let's, just, let's start the mission anyway. So we're going to have our saucer and crypto in this one. Pay attention to the alert level. Increased human awareness means tougher reinforcements. So here we go. This is brand new. I haven't seen it in this version, so this is going to be great. Can't wait to see it. It also might lag. I apologize if it does. Crypto! Oh, I see a horde of humans up ahead, congregating at some sort of holy ground. Here's the plan. I want you to enter the fair, find a malleable human, and lead it back to your ship for questioning. Get the picture. I get it. The police must not be alerted. The eye icon shows whether or not a human is looking at you. I think I got an achievement too. Uh, a blue icon shows you are still disguised or unnoticed. The alert level will not increase. The eye icon lights up when humans see an alien or alien activity. When the gauge is red, prevent the alert level from increasing by neutralizing human witness. The gauge turns yellow if witness escape, activating the corresponding alert levels. The first level just increases human awareness, while higher levels are more hazardous. During stealth missions, stay below the indicated threshold or the mission will fail. Lower the alert level by escaping to break line of sight and laying low or activating Crypto. a holobob. That human! 
human is aware of your presence. The more people become aware of you, the more chance that those human policemen and the military will come to investigate you and take you down. Okay. Escalation. Avoid human uh, thingy to Oh god. So this is actually a different area. This looks so different from where you usually start. So what do I do with them? Is there a button? Oh. Reset a marked creature's awareness. Press X. Huh. Don't forget to disguise yourself, Crypto. You're not exactly inconspicuous, you know. Ooh, look at that. Use the holobob ability to take on a holographic human disguise. The target human, meanwhile, is frozen and invisible. Scanning human brains with content. Cortex scan regenerates holobob. Holobob will drop if it is not regularly recharged. Uh, using powerful mental abilities, weapons, or other offensive actions disrupts holobob, making it deplete faster and briefly revealing crypto. Holobob will be compromised if humans witness the activation or its disruption. Neutralize them. Use forget or its escape to restore now that you're sufficiently disguised, continue <gasps> using the this. cortex scan to maintain the illusion. You wouldn't want to lose concentration <laughs> while surrounded by enemies. Ah yes, true. Read a mind to refresh <laughs> the classic car again. Oh man. Oh, I need to find a human. Okay, here's one. Walking my old cart. That's right, baby. I'm going commando. I'm free and easy. Why is there multiple? All right. Hi. How the hell am I supposed to run in these shoes? Shiny, 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 shiny shoes. shoes. Oh man. Look at the circus. What we need is the dumbest, oh, weakest, willed, most malleable human we can find. Admittedly, the competition will be fierce. <laughs> you just have to scan them all. Fair enough. Man, oh man, she may be the dumbest Miss Rockwell ever. And check out them cantaloupes. <laughs> God, I love America. This human seems to be onto something. We wonders never face. Keep scanning the humans. Well, that's what we all thought. Huh? And the map has like green. So that's where like the main mission area is, I, I guess. Be a cowboy, but who would be my cowgirl? Okay, who do we need to scan? Oh, Eat your you. Heart out, Lana Turner. You got me. I want to marry Miss Rockwell, but instead I gotta sit here hour after hour, day after day, watching this dying wheel go up and down, round and round, over and over again until somebody dies. Hell of a metaphor. Yes, yes! Like proteins from the primordial ooze, a pattern is emerging. Scan some more human minds, Crypto! Jeez, vicious. Yeah, 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 town's doing great, business is booming, hope is on the way, yada, yada, yada. Let's uh, barrel through this puppy so I can get down to the real business of governing. Making time with the delicious Miss Rockwell. Okay, here we go. I'm guessing we have to cortex scan her now. I'm queen. Finally, I was gonna flip my lid if Mama made me take one more slurp of cabbage soup. Scan this real quick. Yeah. Roast chicken. Mmm, chicken of the sea, or was it by the sea? <laughs> oh. All right, crypto. Wow. I've analyzed all the thoughts you've collected, and I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to probe and vaporize. No, abduct and bring back to the mothership. My way's more fun. <laughs> abduct, not vaporize. <laughs> okay, but humanity ain't gonna annihilate itself. All I'm saying. Can I finish? Can I stop you? <laughs> I love it. As I was saying. The newly crowned Miss Rockwell looks like a prime candidate for testing. She's envied and desired by other humans. She's highly persuadable. Best of all, she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut. Hypnotize her and send her back to your ship for collection. I love the, like, 
Now crypto's Impact the hologram. On a puny human brain. Bend its will to ours. All right, before I do that, let me just scan this person Doesn't real quick. Judy know that Manila guy's gay? Oh, I got a hold button. I want to thank the all the little people, okay. but there's no time. Got to go. Oh yeah, and she doesn't run now. She's like walking. Escort Miss Rockwell to Soska. Escort Miss Rockwell posing as the mayor. Wait, how do I get out of this Which then? F? The <laughs> oh, holobob compromise. Uh oh. Um, wait, did I do it? Oh wait, no wait, I have to... What do I have to do? I have to like X, right? <laughs> what do I do? Oh no, too many people know. Uh oh, this is bad. I think I got to I think I just got to get away, right? I think I I think I got to get away first. Yeah. I got to like This is bad. Wait. What are you doing? Get back in range. But I have to Oh no, this is Huh. Oh, here we go. I gotta find me a police. Okay, there we go. Then a construction worker, and then maybe an Indian. Let's go, Miss Rockwell, posing as a mayor. Quartet like no other. Is she gonna move? Do I have to get her to move? How do I make her move again? E? No. What was the button? She's not moving. Enjoy the fair. Oh, and don't oh, there we go. It's a freaking death trap. Just had to bump into it <laughs> to get it. Shoot, move along. Keep going, feet. Killing me, damn. Escort Miss Rockwell posing as the mayor. Wait, I left my purse in the tent. Too bad. I must go to the dark and mysterious woods. There's no reason to be afraid. Nothing bad ever happens to people who go into dark and mysterious woods. Definitely. Especially not in fairy tales or slasher films. Not that I know what those are. Drop active disguise as needed. Hold G. I don't remember parking here. Of course, I can't ever remember where I parked. <laughs> My car seems bigger and rounder and saucer shaped. Whoa. Here we go. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. And lots of wavy hair like Libra. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where am I? This sure doesn't look like the pie eating contest. You're screwed. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. What's happening? Oh, God. Please. No. Oh. Oh, it, it tickles. <laughs> it's probing time. Oh, yeah. Right there. That's the spot. Oh, that is delicious. Never fails. Time to help in the saucer. I'm curious. Are the cops gonna be there this Hooray, time? Crypto. The authorities are on their way. Get in your saucer. What if I don't? I'm challenging you, game. What if I don't? Come at me. <laughs> I'm here. I'll fight. No. No one? Alright. I guess. Alas. <laughs> Destroy Great buildings with the abducto beam. Using your saucer's abducto beam to levitate a creature or object. Ooh. Uh, hold right click and release. Interesting. So I have to like... Hiya! Did I? Am I doing it? <laughs> am I doing it? Is it? Is it happening? I think it's. To, oh wait! Oh, I get it. It's like in the trailer. I didn't. I'm not doing it very well, am I? Uh, maybe. Oh, okay. That's one. Okay, that didn't work. I guess we got to do it for these smaller buildings or something. Ooh, 
as is tradition, I just got as an achievement. Can I like grab? Oh, let's grab this tank. Can I grab the tank? Why oh, grab the police car? Ah, oh, it didn't work though. Oh, okay. I get it now. Okay. Ooh. Man, this is actually a tricky one. Because I gotta like... Because I kind of... Oh, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. I need... I need heavier stuff. A big pig! Okay, here we go. Ah, lovely. Alright, let's destroy the rest of the fair now. <laughs> See, these are fairly easy challenges for now. Oh, we ran out of... Ran out of a big charge. Steal some brains. Okay, ran out of charge. It's fine, we got this. Hiya! Right there we go. <laughs> There's just a random cow there, I see that. Out of all the destruction, one cow survives. Oh man. Gotta appreciate the cow, that's what it is, right? Ooh. Experimental Psylink Holobob. Hypnoblast Forget. Ducto Beam. Nice. Disaster at Rockwell Fair. Fairground left in tatters by Freakstorm. Miss Rockwell committed to Shady Pine Sanitarium. Mayor miraculously survives Fairground Disaster. Half a dozen local pastors of the First Churches of Rockwell have banded together, citing the Miss Rockwell pageant as a sign of socialist leanings, bringing down judgment from above. The anonymous source close to, th close to the judges insists the opportunities given by the pageant are so important for young gals. How else will they get an missus? And what's wrong with the baby-changing portion? A floor has paved with 200... A floor has been paved with 200 square tiles of a certain... And then it just cuts off. Interesting. Did you want to suffer a grade? Or something a little more? Personal. Here we are. <laughs> Here we are at the. Maybe there we go. Bam. New artwork for both of these. There we go. So that is going to be the end of. That's going to be the end of this episode. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. If you want to see more of the series, you got to ring that bell. So, you know, which means you got to subscribe. Oh, look, also, you can explore the area instead of just having to do the mission over and over again, like, or having to do, like, the next mission and stuff. You can just explore the area now, which I, I appreciate. That's pretty good. Anyway, thanks for watching, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. With 200...